Today is Holocaust Remembrance Day. News 10's Matt Gregory spoke with two Holocaust survivors who share their friendship now by remembering their past. Eva Kaur first met Helen Rappaport nearly 40 years after Allied forces liberated the two women and their twin sisters from horrific experiments at Auschwitz. I was always so excited to, to find an other guinea pig, and she said she lived in Skokie with her sister. Helen and her sister Pearl were 23 when the Nazis came to their town in Czechoslovakia to force them into a concentration camp. The SS came and knocked on the door and said, you have to leave your house. We didn't know where, what, how, why are you taking us? We are taking you for work. Soldiers took Rappaport's family to Auschwitz. Immediately, Helen and Pearl were separated from their family. They asked, who did you come with? So we said, a sister with three kids, with a father. They went like that. You will never see him again. The two women joined the other Auschwitz twins in a special barracks, where a Nazi doctor subjected them to cruel probes and tests. And one twin says, you just entered, entered the hell zone. Don't expect nothing good here. This is all hell. For 10 months, the Rappaport sisters and Eva and her twin survived experimentation and starvation. Then the American army came. They waved the flag and they said, don't run, we are here to liberate you. That was the, uh, I guess, the nicest thing that could happen in my life. Helen and Pearl would leave Europe and move to America. They lived in Illinois until just recently. My sister just died seven months ago. Miss her terribly. But in Eva Core, she finds a kindred spirit. She's very good helper, very good helper, and very supportive. She's a real sister, an Auschwitz sister. And together, the new sisters remember the loved ones they've lost, but even more so the ones they've found. In Terre Haute, Matt Gregory, News 10. To watch Helen's full interview, go to our website, WTHITV.com.